Hi and welcome to the Crochet Circle. My name is Alex and in today's video I want to show you how to make this beautiful small fish. The pattern is not mine. Uh, it's from a woman con called Paulina and it is a free pattern so I just want to show you how I make it and the link to her page and to the pattern will be in the description below. My fish is gonna be yellow with some red stripes and fins. Let's get started! So the first round is do a magic ring and sip six uh, single crochets in the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I am not gonna join the circles, but I'm gonna do in a continuous round. So I'm just gonna go into the next one, the next round. So round number two will be, we'll have nine stitches. How I'm gonna get to there is I'm gonna do a single stitch and then increase stitch three times so it's in the end gonna be nine stitches because I'm using a number three millimeter hook and my stitches are pretty tight it's a bit hard to put the first one in but everything can be done so that's one and now I have to increase two three again one single stitch for four and five six is gonna be an increase stitch now seven a single stitch and eight nine is gonna be an increase eight nine now the third round is gonna be nine single crochets all around one two three four five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now the fourth round is 12 stitches, so I have to increase it. It's gonna be two single stitches and then increase three times. So it's single stitch, single stitch, and increase. An increase is just two single stitches in the previous stitch. So that's four. Now I'm going to do five, six, and seven, eight again. It's going to be an increase. Nine, ten single stitches and eleven, twelve, an increase. Okay, that's round number four done. Now the fifth round is eighteen stitches. So from twelve to go to eighteen, you have to do a single stitch and an increase six times. So that's one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's halfway done. Ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15 an increase, 16 and 17, 18 the increase. Now the next round is going to be single stitches all around, so it's going to be 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now the next round it's gonna have 24 stitches and again we have to increase by 6, so we're gonna do single, two single stitches and an increase six times. So it's one, two, and an increase for, again, two single stitches and an increase. I'm already by eight now. Nine, ten, and an increase. That's twelve then. An increase for sixteen. Two single crochets. And an increase for twenty. Now the last four stitches is gonna be two single crochets and an increase. It's kind of getting a shape. Now we have to change color. So I'm gonna use my red yarn. I'm gonna go in as if to make a stitch, but I'm not gonna pull it through. I'm gonna take the red yarn and I'm gonna slip the red yarn through both of the loops. Now in this round we have to have 24 stitches, that just means single stitches all around. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now for the last 24 stitch I'm gonna do half of a single crochet and then I'm gonna switch to my yellow yarn again and pull the last stitch together. I, uh, as you can see, I didn't cut any yarn. That is because we're gonna have to do another round afterwards. So now we have again with the yellow one. We have to do, and you can see what happens if you don't take care of your yarn. So now the next one is gonna be 30 stitches, so we have to increase 
and it's going to be three single stitches and an increased stitch six times that's one two three and an increase one two oops two three and an increase again one two three and an increase I am already by 15 stitches so halfway there and again one two three and an increase one two three and an increase one two three and an increase again the last stitch I'm not gonna pull it through completely but I'm gonna change color back to red pull it tight a bit okay now the next round is gonna be 30 stitches so just single stitch all around one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 halfway there Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the last one, the 30th one, again I'm not gonna pull the yarn through, but I'm gonna change back to yellow. So that's 30 stitches. This is gonna be the bottom part of the fish, so when you're gonna fold it you won't see it. Okay, um, now what I want to do is I want to cut the yarn because I don't need it anymore. And I'm just going to make a knot. So I don't have to worry about things going out of the loop. Okay, that's the color changing is done. Now the rest of the fish is gonna be in the yellow color. The next round we'll have to have 36 stitches, so we will have to increase. Um, and it's gonna be four single stitches and an increase stitch. So I already done this one. And it goes from here. So it's one, two, three, four, and an increase. So that's six. Let me just, yes, put away my red yarn because I don't want 
any more of the knots around. Okay, we've stopped by six. Actually, I have stopped by six. You probably have it all untangled. So now I'm gonna continue four single stitches and an increase. And now I'm by 12 stitches, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 are gonna be an increase stitches. That's halfway done. One, two, three, four single stitches and an increase. And an increase that's gonna be 29 and 30 and now four one two three four and an increase in the last red one and now I have 33 stitches It will look like this when once you fill it out. So waiting for the end result. Now we have rows 10 to 16 and they're all gonna be the same. It's just gonna be 36 stitches. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a marker here. Just so I know where my row is to count for Um, I would again like to say thank you to Paulina for sharing this lovely fish pattern and the whole pattern can be found on in the description below there will be a link to it so you don't have to watch the whole video how to make it but if you have any questions you can definitely watch it till the end perhaps you will already see it in the video how to do certain things and if you have any additional questions you can definitely post a question in the comment box below so this is the 10th round almost over Now I'm starting with the 11th round, again 30 36 single crochet stitches. So currently I'm using a 3 millimeter hook and a bit thicker yarn, but if you take a look at the smaller fishes that I made, like this one, I was using a 1.75 millimeter hook and those small fishes I think they are perfect to make a bookmark or a keychain perhaps. 
or just to put next to the bigger ones in a mobile for an underwater theme. Now I'm almost ready with the row 11. I'm going now to row number 12. So now I'm starting with row number 12. So the 12th round is almost done now and I'm moving now on to number 13. When I found this pattern for this fish I thought it's gonna be much harder to do but as you can see it's only using single stitches and then increases we're gonna do some slip stitches later by the end of it um, but that's it you don't need much to do this beautiful fish So that is the 13th row almost done. And I have three more rows to go. And they all have 36 single crochet stitches in a round. So now I'm on the row number 14. I'm almost done with row number 14 and it's only two more rows of 36 single crochets to go.
So that's row number 14 done. And the fish is slowly getting its shape. Now the 15th row. Well, one thing good when crocheting animals and these kind of things is you definitely know how to count because it's a repetition of rounds with increases and it decreases. My 15th round is done. Now only one more round and then we're gonna close it up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Do you see what I'm getting? Not a very good yarn stasher, am I right? <laughs> Seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 10 more to go, 20. ok it's 10 more to go from now on because now I'm on 26, I was on 20 before. Now for the last round we have to stitch this together and we have to make this small fins. So to do that we're gonna do chain 5. Actually first I'm gonna do a slip stitch to close off the round. Then I'm gonna do chain 5 and I'm gonna do single crochets all the way down four and I'm gonna start with the second one so not the first one but the second one so it's gonna be one two three and four now to join these two parts together I'm gonna use slip stitches to join them slip stitch through the first one and through the back one pull everything through. 
once they are aligned it's pretty easy to put the crochet hook through both of the rows I almost forgot to fill it. So once you are halfway done, get your filling out and stuff the fish. I'm gonna lose this marker. I think that's full enough. So now I'm gonna continue with slip stitches. do one more and another one and now I have to repeat chain five and then on the on the second one from the hook I'm gonna do single crochets four of them that's one two three four and I want to join it on this side of the fish with the slip stitch I'm gonna do chain one and <coughs> sorry cut the yarn I'm gonna pull it through and I'm gonna take actually a bit smaller needle and I'm gonna wave the end into my work. Now all we need is the tail and the fins. But first I'm gonna put the yarn a bit more through the work so it won't get loose. This is base of the fish done. Okay, now for the second part of the fish, I'm gonna start with the tail. For the tail, I'm gonna do three single crochets on each side 
of the fish. I'm gonna increase them. So I'm gonna get 12 single crochets. Then I'm gonna switch colors and do a 12 round and a round of 18. In the end, again, we're gonna fold them, fold the, the tail together and slip stitch it together. So I'm gonna start with, mm, should I use the red yarn or, no, actually I'm gonna use the yellow yarn and just change it afterwards. So the end of the tail will be red and the base of the tail will be yellow. I'm gonna use a smaller needle just for the first round. So you have to measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna go into the seventh stitch and do a single crochet. In the next one, a single crochet. And in the next one, a single crochet. So that's three on this side. Now I turn the work around and I do single crochets on the other side as well. So it's one, two, three. I'm gonna change to my normal needle from now on. So I'm gonna use my three millimeter crochet hook. And now we have to do an increase. So it's gonna be two single crochets in each stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. This is on this side, now turn around and on this other side as well. So we're by six now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Again, I'm not gonna close the twelfth stitch. I'm gonna change colors to red one. <coughs> And I'm gonna do 12 single crochets with the red yarn around. So it's gonna be single crochet in each of the previous row. One, two, three, four, oops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 and 12. Now the next round is gonna be 18 stitches so I have to increase in every second stitch so it's gonna be a single crochet and an increase. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's half, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and 17, 18, it's gonna be an increase. Now the next round is gonna be the last round where we just slip stitch it 
together like we did here but before that I'm gonna cut the yarn I'm gonna make a knot I don't want any loose ends I'm not gonna fill the tail with anything but just this end ends of the yarns Oops, and I lost one stitch so that's the 12th one and I'm gonna do a slip stitch now I'm gonna flatten the tail and as we did with the body of the fish slip stitch through both sides so that's on this side and on this side and again through both sides a slip stitch through both sides a slip stitch and I'm almost at the end I'm gonna do a chain two in the end, cut the yarn, pull the yarn through, tighten it, and work the end in. Now all I have to do is the fin here. Now the fin is gonna be, I think, yes, I'm gonna do it in the color of red. And in the pattern it says in the middle of the 14th round so that's somewhere around here you have to do a chain three five double crochets a chain turn work and sing six single crochets on top let's get started So in the middle of the 14th row, it's chain 3, it's a double crochet, so 1, Two, three, four, five, chain one, turn the work around and do six single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now the last one is gonna be in the third chain of the chain three that we did. That's it. I'm gonna do chain two, cut the yarn, fasten it off, and repeat the process on the other side. Okay. Now on the other side, 
let's do the same thing. Just see if it's quite equal. I'm gonna do it here. So first one is chain three. One, two, three. Now it's five double crochets. chain one, turn the work around and six single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and the last one, the sixth one. Okay, I'm gonna do chain two, Cut the yarn, pull it through and fasten it up. And our fish is done. Of course you can sew on some eyes and you definitely have to remove the all the loose ends by weaving them in but the fish is done i hope you enjoyed the video thank you again paulina for sharing this amazing fish with us um i guess i'm gonna see you soon with some other underwater creature see you soon take care and one more last thing if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it. If you want to see the next one in line, don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.